Hey, what's up? It's Carly Rayburn and I'm here on The Lovely White Coward in Winter Haven, Florida. Oh, I almost forgot. Merry Christmas. It doesn't seem like it's almost Christmas with all the seats and I love it. But don't get me wrong, I love Christmas time because everyone's filled with the holiday spirit, jingle bells are ringing, and I get to spend time with family and friends. But I definitely like the fact that I can get in the water year round without freezing. With that being said, let's get into Christmas in Florida. Florida is well known for our amusement parks, orange crops, and the spotlight of our show are large bodies of water. According to the Florida Department of Agriculture, Florida has 663 miles of beaches and over 7,500 freshwater lakes and ponds. Yep, you heard that right. And all these bodies of water attract skiers, surfers, wakeboarders, fishermen, boaters, and so much more, including our Florida manatee and alligator. Wakeboarding is great exercise and something I'm so grateful to be able to do year round in Florida. Happy Christmas in Florida is pretty great. I'm Carly Rayburn and I'll see you on the lake. Hey, 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 I'm Carly Rayburn and boy, am I hungry. But luckily, my little mermaid friend just pulled up. Tallulah's Table by the Sea food truck with the owner operators hard at work. Today I'll be showing you a small glimpse of what life is like working in a food truck. Now I'll tell you a little bit of history behind the food truck. The food truck craze is relatively new, but the idea of mobile dining dates all the way back to the cattle coach in the wild west. In 1866, Charles Goodnight, an adventure and cattleman, purchased a government wagon and we built it to all of his food truck needs. He was considered to be the inventor of the food truck. Well, that's all I have for you today. Make sure you follow at Tallulah's Table on Instagram. I'm Carly Rayburn, and I'll see you next time on JMA News. Did you know that 27,000 trees are cut down each and every day just so we can have toilet paper? And by recycling one aluminum can, you can reserve enough energy to watch your TV for three hours. I'm Carly Rayburn, your Earth Educator for today, and I'll be showing you a variety of different ways you can help save our Earth. Do you remember constantly riding your bike when you were little? Well, if you do, you can take comfort in knowing that you are actually helping to save the planet. When a car uses one liter of gas, it's actually releasing 2.33 kilograms of climate changing CO2 into our atmosphere, so keep riding. Another way to help save our earth is to plant a tree. Trees provide us food and oxygen that we need to survive. Trees help us fight back climate change and keep our air nice and clean. An additional way to save our earth is to volunteer. You can volunteer at a community garden in your neighborhood or at a local park picking up trash. Also, remember your three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Try and cut back on your trash and conserve energy by shopping smart and limiting your single-use plastics. My final way to help the environment is to educate exactly what I'm doing right now. Try telling your family and friends different ways that they can help save our earth. I'm Carly Rayburn helping you help the planet and I'll see you next time on JMA News. Good morning, Jam Champs. I'm Carly Rayburn, your JMA News anchor for February 26, 2021. Happy last Friday in February, a pretty good reason to celebrate if you ask me. After all, today is National Hug a Musician Day. So let's go ahead and jam out with some of our JMA students. Today is partly cloudy with a high of 86 and a low of 64. Please stand up for our pledge and uniform check. Our first jam session is with none other than Elena Thompson. She's going to be giving us the inside scoop about some of our favorite artists, musicians, and bands. 
Sometimes the media can mislead us. So Elena's going to be showing us what's real and what's fake. Make sure to stay tuned because up next is Elena with fake news. Take it away, Elena. So the truth finally comes out. Thanks, Elena. That was pretty hardcore. But now it's time for our word of the day. Today's word of the day is lackadaisical. Lackadaisical means lacking enthusiasm and determination, careless and lazy. Next up on the tracks is Layla showing us how math rocks. And I promise she's neither careless or lazy when it comes to math. Let's take it to the studio with Layla's Trivia Math. Thanks, Layla, for that rockin' trivia math. The next artist on Shuffle is Abby with her song, Try Something New. Today, Abby's going to be showing us some new music that we probably haven't heard before. So, let's take it to Abby and see if she's on key with her, Try Something New. Thanks, Abby. I loved all those songs. It kind of makes me want to hug a musician or a teacher. But now that we know some new songs, let's do a mic check with our JMA teachers, Miss Zonal. Mr. Wise and Miss Morgan to see some of their favorite musicians, artists, and bands. Let's take it to Alyssa Simmons with a teacher feature. Thanks, Alyssa, and thanks to all those teachers. Well, that's all the tunes I have for you today. Remember to stay respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Stay focused on your work and stay six feet apart. Thanks for jamming with me. I'm Carly Bravery, and I'll see you next time on JMA News. Hey guys, today in Carly's Kitchen, we'll be making Christmas cookies. So let's get into it. Our first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And after that, we're gonna line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Christmas is a time to gather together with family and friends to celebrate the holidays. One of my family's traditions is actually making this recipe. It dated all the way back to my great grandmother. First, we're gonna combine all the dry ingredients together flour, baking soda, and salt. Now I'm taking a fork and stirring my dry ingredients together. Now put your dry ingredient bowl to the side. And in our wet ingredient bowl, we're gonna put brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, vanilla extract, an egg, sugar, melted butter, and now we're gonna mix it up. While I'm combining my dry ingredients to the wet ingredients, I'll tell you about some of my family's traditions. One of our Christmas traditions is to go to dinner in our PJs on Christmas Eve. Another one of our family's traditions is we go over to our grandparents' house on Christmas morning. Next, we're going to take a pinch of cookie dough and ball it together. And we place it two inches away from the other cookies on the rack. And now we're ready for the oven. Oh, that's the oven. Now it's time to take the cookies out and let them cool. Now there's only two things left to do. Put them in a cookie tin to share with our friends and to try them for ourselves. Duh. These are so good. Well, that's all I have for you today on Cooking Christmas Cookies with Carly. I hope to see you next time in Carly's Kitchen.